there is only one formation of a coalition which will actually take President William Samuel Ruto home very early in the morning. And I have tried to see how this coalition, if it's at all going to be formed, is going to take William Samuel Ruto home. And I have really done a lot of research, but I've found that if this coalition is going to be formed, then it means that William Samuel Ruto is going to be sent home very early in the morning, and it will make him to be a one term president. So this coalition, which I am about to explain about, if it is going to be formed, then it is going to make a very grand coalition and which for sure will take William Samuel Ruto home. So I am going to explain because in this grand coalition, which, uh, which I am about to explain about, we have individuals who must not miss in this coalition. So I will give you a list of individuals who must be in that coalition. And at the end, if those people will be together with one mission, of taking President William Samuel Ruto home, then for sure, President William Samuel Ruto is going to be a one-term president. So this is what I'm going today to explain about the coalition which for sure will take William Samuel Ruto home. My fellow listeners, I want you to sit don't actually move away from this YouTube channel because I want you to listen from the start to the end. And I'm very sure at the end you will accept with me that if this coalition will be formed, then it is going to take William Samoruto and make him to be a one-term president. But before I dive in to explain about this coalition, which is, which actually I am about to explain, I could request you kindly to subscribe to this YouTube channel, smash that bell button. Have you done it? The bell button. Then you can share this video to your friends. And if your friends are lovers of politics, then it's good to encourage them to subscribe to this YouTube channel because this is the home of politics in our Republic, Kenya. Now, let us let me dive into that coalition. I'm talking that if there is going to be a formation of this kind of a coalition, then I'm very sure that this coalition is going to take William Samoruto home. And this coalition must actually have the following individuals. The first person who must be in this coalition is Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta. Our former president is a key person that if that coalition will be formed and is going to be in, then we will send William Samaruto home. The second person who must not miss in this uh, in the coalition also Israela Amolo Odinga. Our former prime minister must be in. Then we must have Fred Okengo Matiangi. As you know, Fred Okengo Matiangi played a very important role in Uru Mugai Kenyatta government. He was like a prime minister of this republic. And he was the cabinet secretary of interior and coordination of national 
government. So Fred Madiang Matiangi must be in the coalition. Then if we will also have Ari Asanjo from Mombasa. As you can remember, Ari Asanjo has been so close to Raila Molo Odinga. And Ari Asanjo is not somebody you can push. It's a person who has taken roots in the coastal province. It's a person who can give a direction from the coastal province. So Ari Asanjo must be in that formation of the coalition. Then we must have Stephen Kalonso Msioka must not miss in that coalition. And as you know, Stephen Kalonso, at one time, he was the vice president of Emirio Kibaki. So he served as the, the, uh, the vice president. He also served as uh, the minister of foreign affairs some time back. So he's a person also who understands the politics of this nation. So he must be in that coalition. Then we also have another person who must be in the coalition. Is called Mata Karua. So Mata Karua also must be in that coalition because that woman cannot be underrated because sometimes he push. Even if people say that last time he never delivered to Raila Amolo Odinga. Then we also another very important person from Western Province, a person who we call Wycliffe Oparanya. So Wycliffe Oparanya must actually be in that coalition. And Wycliffe Oparanya, for those ones who, does, who don't know him, he is the he is the former governor of Kakamega. So and he is actually the vice chair of ODM. So Wycliffe Ombeta Oparanya must also be in that coalition. So those are the people who must be in that coalition. So I have said Uru Megai Kenyatta, Raila Molodinga, Mata Karua, Fred Matiangi, Ari Hassan Joho, Stephen Kalonso Msioka. We have Wycliffe Oparanya. So those people, if they form a coalition, that coalition actually will send the person we call uh, uh, President William Samuel Ruto home. And now this is the formation. And that formation, some of the leaders must kill their political ambition in order to give a real way for other people to take positions and for them to spearhead that kind of formation. So once we have those people, then we must make Kalonso Msioka to go for, to be the president of the Republic. Then we must make Fred Matiangi to be the deputy of Kalonso Msioka. So we will have Kalonso at the top, Fred Matiangi being the second person. Then we will have Obaranya to be as the prime minister, the position which Musalia is having now. Then uh, Ari Hassan Jo will be told for you you will take the, 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 you will be the CS of runs if we enter into the government. People like Mata Karua, they will be given a position. They can be Anthony General of the Republic. Then, uh, people like Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, who is the former president, and Raila Amolo Odinga, they must play this key role to be the leading in the campaigning of that team. These people should be the manager of the campaigning team and they should coordinate everything which will be happening with that team. 
and Raila Molo Odinga, as I have said, he must actually kill his political ambition. Because if he said that I am the most popular, let me take for presidency, then you will find that uh, that coalition actually will die naturally. Because it will never be. Because Stephen Kalonso Msioka might not accept again to be maybe the deputy of Raila Molo Odinga. And as you know, Raila Molo Odinga once is, is on the ballot, it means the people of Central will fought against him entirely. And they will fought to somebody who we call President William Samoy Ruto. But if he plays in the campaigning side, there's a likelihood that Kalonso will get some votes from Mount Kenya, Mata Karua will bring some thoughts. Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta will bring some thoughts from that, from the mountain. And there is an expectation that we will have around 35% of the thoughts from the mountain to 40. That's why I'm saying that if we have these people forming a coalition, then it's going to be very easy for them to unseat President William Samoy Ruto. And why did I bring in Fred Okengo Matiangi to be the deputy of Kalonzo Msioka? Remember, in Nyanza, as a province where we have the Luo Nyanza and the Gusi Nyanza, and if there is an agreement for Fred Okengo Matiangi to be the deputy by Raila, it means now Nyanza will fought together entirely. More than 3 million votes they will be together. Eh? And that means William, William Samuel Ruto will not have even 25% from the Nyanza region because now it will be a pack in the Nyanza region. And by bringing also a weekly for Paranya, from the western side, it means now the western side will see Uparanya is key here. Eh? And remember, the western province from the western province, we have people who love Raila naturally. They just love Raila naturally, and they will always vote for Raila. With that key person, Wickle for Paranya from there, I'm very sure is going to get massive votes from that place because remember now we have uh, we, 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 we have Msalia who is with the government but people from that place they might be saying that we are not seeing any benefit we are getting even if you are in the, in the government let us go for this coalition which actually many people will have hope about and because of that factor then you will find that People from the western side will fought massively eh, for this coalition. I really don't know what's your take about what I've said about this coalition of these key individuals coming together. Do you think from your own perspective that this coalition of these key individuals will take William Samuel Ruto home very early in the morning so long as Raila cooperate to be the campaigning manager to say Tosha for, uh, for these two people and Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta also to say Tosha for these two people that means Msalia Mdavadi going to be at the top and Fred Okengo Matiani following and Wycliffe Ombeta Obaranya being as the prime secretary hmm? Do you think this will unseat President William Samuel Ruto? Because for me, if that will be formed, that's a done deal. It is automatic. William Samuel Ruto will be home very early in the morning. Please, I could like you to drop your comment in the comment section below. And if this is your first time to pump into this YouTube channel, please, I request you kindly to take a minute or two and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Give this video thumbs up. Share the video to your friends. And if your friends are lovers of politics, then request them to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And with that, I say thank you. And may God bless you all. Until we meet 
in our next political conversation. Thank you.